John Coleman is one of the co-founders of the Weather Channel, a former meteorologist for a number of years, decades in fact. So he's obviously very worried about the climate, but what he's not worried about is climate change. Listen to his appearance on Fox News. Man-made global climate change is a myth. How can you say that? Well, it's very easy, but thank you for having me on your program. You know, a climate skeptic can rarely get on TV <laughs> ever since Al Gore made it a plank of the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. And they say and you're uh, Looney Tunes <laughs> if you don't believe, with it, believe as he you does. You bet. And I've been in the TV news organizations now for 60 years, and I only met two Republicans the whole time, and they were both hiding in the closet. <laughs> I mean, uh, this, is, this is a tough go for people who don't believe in climate change. So John Coleman spends a lot of time in closets with Republicans. <laughs> anyway, sorry, needlessly throwing that in there. Um, so there, we, we've got more for you, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, I liked that TV is a plank of the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Not MSNBC, but TV itself. And also uh, that Megyn Kelly starts off by saying, how can you say that, that it's a hoax? So she's admitting that it is real, but then she turns around and says, but they call you Looney Tunes if you say that. Right. First of all, you just sort of said he was Looney Tunes for saying that. So, so which is it? So she asks him, how can you say that? And he doesn't give her an answer. No. He, he just says, Al Gore's a jerk. Exactly. <laughs> how yeah. can you say that? I don't know if you know Al Gore. That's how I can say it. That's yeah. it. That's their whole argument. It's his whole argument right now. Al Gore's right a now, jerk, and argument. there's no Republicans on TV. And there's no Republicans on TV, except, I don't know, I was watching MSNBC the other day, and Chris <laughs> Matthews admitted he voted for George Bush. So <laughs> even on MSNBC, you can't get away from right-wingers, yeah. okay? They're everywhere. How about Jonathan Carl? How about uh, the guy? Scarborough. How about it's Joe Scarborough? Yeah, just come on. You, you have the number one news network on cable is mm -hmm. all Republicans, okay? Yeah. So again, it's just when I love it when white conservatives come on and complain about how they're the minority somehow in America because A, it makes them the victim. Like when they, mm. they paint them, rich white guys are the victim in America. Ugh. Hard to be a honky Ugh. in America. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Ugh. Okay, sorry. I just, that, that's the thing. So John Coleman has established his bona fides. He's a rich, white, conservative in America who is also a victim. Yeah. Okay? He's also the put upon. He's the oppressed in America. Okay, here we go. So wh one really quick thing I want to add to that, though, is what I'm trying to understand is why he refuses to believe the science and why he's willfully ignorant on this topic, right? So there are politicians who will deny that climate change is man-made, but they do so because there are financial backers, people yeah. like the Koch brothers that are funding them to make sure that we don't do anything to change our habits to basically save the environment, right? So we don't cut debt back on coal or, or drilling for oil or any of the other stuff that's basically destroying our environment right now. But I don't understand what his incentive is yeah. here, right? Is it because he's like a few years away from no longer existing? Existing, so he doesn't want to change his Perhaps. habits and he's like nah stop bothering me yeah. I don't I don't under do you understand that your children your grandchildren people are going to start seeing the ramifications of what we're doing to the environment we're already seeing the yeah. ramifications exactly that man and Fox News is dangerous okay yeah. the fact that we are the only country that refuses to say yes Climate change is man-made is absolutely ridiculous. It makes us look like clowns. Yeah, so you bring up a good point that, that we have science on our side. He's not, in his first clip, as Jimmy said, he's not really describing what he thinks the science says. So we've got a slightly longer clip. Um, and by the way, Jared Jackson clued me in to uh, check out the totally gratuitous Megyn Kelly leg shot as John Coleman explains the science of why it's a myth. Well, it's very difficult for anybody to be against it because the media has told the nation over and over again, day after day, for 20 years, that the oceans are rising, the polar bears are dying, the sea, uh, the ice is melting, that storms are going to sweep the earth, and that we're all going to die of a heat wave. I mean, this is an incredible, bad, bad science. But, le but let me, let's get specific. Because you talk about how the efforts to prove the theory that carbon dioxide is a significant greenhouse gas and that it's causing significant warming have failed. And yet the data say that carbon dioxide was proven to be a greenhouse gas in a 1957 paper by Roger Revelle. The EPA says it's a greenhouse gas. The scientific community has accepted that it's a greenhouse gas and that the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has gone up since 1958. Well, there are 9,000 PhDs and 31 scientists who have signed a petition that says it is not a significant greenhouse gas. Oh, it's a teeny, itsy bitsy greenhouse gas, but it's not in any way significant. And we are sure of it. It's not like something I made up or just thought of. 
Uh, so I love how he ends the sentence. I also like that of the 9,000 PhDs, only 31 are scientists, which seems like a low percentage. What are the rest of them doing with their time? I like how he says, well, it's not like this is something I just made up. I guess everybody else is making up climate change, though, but everyone else is making it up. The world's fucked up. John Coleman's right. And by the way, John Coleman used to be my weatherman when I was a little yeah. kid growing up in Chicago, mm -hmm. and he was the best weatherman. Was oh, he? Really? oh, he was the reason why Thanks, everybody Chris. watched that show. He had a lot of personality. He used to make up his own words, and uh, <laughs> he's he would, still doing it. He's still doing it. I like how he says, uh, "This is this is the what did he say? This is the bad bad science." That's not even a what's like is science your dog and you're mad at it? <laughs> bad bad science. But That's also another was. part of it that I liked. I, I of course paid very close attention to Megyn Kelly's legs after you mentioned that they. Grew gratuitously went to it. Yeah. Um, but notice the information she was giving the audience when they decided to cut to that shot. She was citing scientific evidence yes. indicating that climate change does exist, it is man-made, and while they're doing that, they're like, wait, this is information we don't want them paying attention to. Ah, Wide shot legs. of her legs. Ah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So cut to the legs, she's talking science. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it would be on their wrist. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, obviously ridiculous. Um, by the way, he, uh, John Coleman, does have a journalism degree from the University of Illinois that he got in the late 1890s. He does not, <laughs> however, have any sort of scientific uh, degree. He has no climate science back uh, training, of course. This has been a criticism that's been launched against him for years now because he's been a climate denier for a number of years. He has had no interest in trying to pursue like advanced degrees or anything like that. He hasn't conducted any research. He's not interested in the research. He's just interested in being on TV and spouting off, but no, when, um, she's asking what's in it for this guy. That was your just, initial yeah, question. I don't understand what his incentives are. So two are. things are. So it's got to be two, three. It could be three things. One, he's getting money from Koch brothers. It's possible. Right. Two, uh, bad, the, the, the worse the climate gets, the more crazy storms we have, the higher ratings for the Weather Channel. That's yeah, not that's, a bad point. Uh, that's actually really good. I, that's I like, diabolical. That's, right. Well, what does he do? What, either, either it's either that or he's a certifiable moron. Right. Yeah. There's a chance. There you go. Who, who founded yeah. the Weather Channel? The guy who founded the Weather Channel doesn't believe in science. <laughs> that is amazing, right? That is, and they yeah. talk about, you know, I don't know, I, I think Megyn Kelly is doing her part to heat up the global climate. <laughs> if you're talking about what say. Okay, so uh, why don't we close out? We've got one more video from him. Uh, this time he's going to go back to the polar bears. Well, I would like to announce tonight to people who uh, are friends of Al Gore's that whoops, he got that one wrong. The Antarctic ice cap is at an all-time record high in both coverage and thickness. And the Arctic ice cap at the North Pole is at the highest it has been in several years. It's in its so-called normal range since we got satellite observations that could measure it. So not only is the ice not melting, more polar bears are alive and happy today than we've had in a hundred years. Life is good, Miss, uh, Miss Kelly. I gotta tell you, life is good. How? How do you just so allow him to sit good. there just and just pick. make things up? Like, yeah. either make things up or cherry pick. I mean, we are literally destroying the natural habitat of polar bears, which means that they have no place to live, right? Life and then, is good. Life is good, Miss, um, uh, which show am I on again? Miss Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> so he, Palin, I just want to say. <gasps> so he brings up that thing about the you know, and a lot of dummies on Facebook will also do this. They'll bring up this. There's more ice at the Antarctica right now than that. Blah, 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 blah. It's not the right kind of ice. It's the kind of ice that forms at the surface. What they really need is the old kind of ice, which is cracking off and going away. It's the deep kind of ice. Like, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, yeah. but I trust science, right? And I know it's not a conspiracy. And so when he, so they, when they cherry pick stupid facts like that, and he's not a scientist, and he goes, there's more, close. so you need to know that when he's saying that he's twisting and perverting little pieces of information. He's yeah. perverting that information. He's not actually making you more informed. Yeah. He's misinforming you because he's twisting it. It's yeah. weird to find that on Fox News, though. It is weird. Yeah, <laughs> they're mixing Especially, it up. and then a blonde yeah. lady would let that go right past her right. like that. Yeah, yeah. so uh, she gets one point for starting off the segment by saying, how can you say that? And then allowing him to unchallenged say ridiculous things. She loses all the rest of her points.